Surface tension was introduced as an energy per unit area, but we noticed that it can also be expressed as a force per unit length. We can evidence the existence of this force in a classical experiment performed with a frame, a rod and a bath of soapy water. A soap film is stretched on the frame and it is divided in two parts by the rod which is free to move on the frame. When the soap film on the right side is ruptured, the rod moves to the left, driven by the surface tension of the remaining film. So, what is the force pulling on the rod? We have the frame, which is like this, the rod is there, the typical width of the frame is L, and it is filled with a soap film. And we saw that this rod is pulled in this direction. So if we assume that the rod moves by a quantity dx, the change of surface energy, dES, is surface tension of the soapy water times L times dx times 2 because we have two interfaces. The interfaces between the film and the air above the film and the interface between the film and the air below the film. This change of energy can be seen as a work of the force pulling the rod from which we immediately deduce that the force is twice because of the presence of two interfaces gamma surface tension of the soapy water time L. And so we see that more generally each time we have an interface between a liquid and a air or more generally each time we have an interface that holds some surface energy uh, if this interface ends then there is a force pulling parallel to the interface F uh, which can be written per unit length gamma. So the reason why surface tension is called a tension is that indeed it can be seen as a force but from the units it's a force per unit length. The distance to be considered being the distance perpendicular to the blackboard. When we have to solve a problem where we have interfaces, we can either use energy arguments or force arguments, and it turns out that very often it's more easy to treat these problems with energy arguments. So we keep in mind that there is a force acting on the interfaces, even if in many cases we shall prefer to use uh, energy considerations to understand the uh, interfacial phenomena. Another experiment where we clearly observe surface tension as a force has been experienced by all of us playing with soap bubbles. When we make a hole inside a bubble, here placed on a liquid layer, the interfaces of the whole periphery are pulled by surface tension so that the hole expands. Owing to the thinness of soap film, inertial resistance to the motion is very weak so that bursting occurs within a few milliseconds. Thank you.